Hello. Hi. So, so we are moving to Wyoming. Woo! Oh, hey. Hi. How's it going? Um, I'm Ashley. I'm Olive. Uh, we're two best friends who love to travel and love Jesus. And we kind of have a problem where we can't stay in one place for more than six months. So this video is about the next place we're going to <laughs> because we're moving to Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> Why? Because there's a cool ministry that is based out of the national parks in the U.S. called a Christian ministry in the national parks. And we're going to be doing the winter season, which is from November to April. And we're going to be living in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, next to Grand Teton National Park. And there's one more of us. Her name's Annie. She's from New England area. And we're going to be working together as a team in Jackson Hole. So on Sundays, we'll be leading uh, worship services, like at the top of a mountain, to cross-country skiers. Very casual, you know, everyday thing. And just during the week, having our jobs and hanging out with our coworkers. A lot of them will be um, international people, which is pretty cool. And we all know what it's like. Well, maybe you don't all know, but we know what it's like to be in a new place and have no community. So the goal is just to build a healthy, um, open and welcoming community in the resort. So that's kind of what our, our job will be um, in the background. Yep. And just sharing Jesus with people and loving on people and having a good old time in the snow. Yeah, God called us to this ministry because we have a heart for people and doing life with people. Um, and we believe that God's love extends beyond church and beyond um, a community group. It really goes just into daily life. So our hope is that while in Jackson Hole, we'll be able to make lots of friends and really just show who Jesus is based on our interactions and encounters with them and just also the incredible beauty around us. So I'm going to be a hostess at a restaurant. I will be a barista at the general store. Just something I wanted to clarify because like the number one question people ask me is like, so is this a paid job? Um, the actual like job, the hostess and the barista jobs, they are like minimum wage jobs that we will be starting at the beginning of December. But like all the ministry stuff, like leading more worship services and things like that, that's completely volunteer based. Yeah, we're really excited, but we um, are a little broke. <laughs> um, actually not a little. Uh, we, we have like no money to our name right now. So we're gonna start our jobs um, like in the beginning of December. And in the meantime, we're gonna be road tripping from North Carolina um, up over to Wyoming and it's going to be about a 10 day road trip we're going to be staying with some friends along the way um, we're going to be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day for lunch so if you guys know how to spice up a PB&J holla at you girls <laughs> just so you know I'm gluten intolerant here's the deal working for Jesus is a little difficult because you don't get a paycheck and we don't really have any paychecks from the work we've been doing over the last year and a half of our lives. Ashley's been on the world race and I've been ministering to the communities I've been living in in Southampton, England and working for a very cheap camp in Germany. Um, and before embarking on this ministry journey, we talked about how difficult it was going to be to pay the upfront things, I think, just the logistics of taking a vehicle full of stuff um, over 2,000 miles across the country um, into snow and um, also eating because we do love to eat. Um, so we decided that we would ask um, for two things from the people who might be interested in knowing what we're doing and why we're doing this. One is for prayer and encouragement. Um, and the second thing is any financial aid that our friends and family might be willing to 
contribute towards this ministry. The ministry does not pay us for the work we do, and we are doing basically everything um, a church would on a Sunday in a small, on a smaller scale, um, with the hope of really ministering to people who maybe have never um, been to a church before, or even people who are just on vacation and want to want to have um, a Sunday service while they're in the middle of the Teton. So, part of God providing for us is really taking a leap of faith and just asking and being willing to be awkward um, and vulnerable. It's not easy to ask for help and it's not easy to admit that you have very little, but I think God does the most with our nothing. Um, when we have nothing and when we are the most vulnerable is when he gets the most joy um, and glory out of um, his work, I think, in our lives. And so. If you are interested in making a donation, um, that money would go towards gas, car repairs that we're praying won't have need to happen, um, and just general food. Uh, it really would just be for this like chunk of time before getting there. And um, also, if you feel called to support us in any way while we're still there, um, that would be amazing and greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's why we decided to do this little video. We appreciate everyone's support and prayers and thoughts and if you guys decide to do a family vacation and you want to have some snow time, come out and see us at Jackson Hole. Yeah! It's like the ski capital of America, baby. Like, I've heard that there's even celebrities that come there. And apparently Kanye West is recording all his albums there now, so, you know, he's a Christian. We love you, Kanye. I hope you're watching this. Oh, man. I kind of want to do the whole thing over. The whole thing. Kind of. I'm not doing the whole thing over. Why? That was easy.